Kristen Bell looks like she is in her 20s, but the truth is she's in her 40s now. Do you wonder how someone can look 10 years younger than their actual ages? Stay tuned because you're about to find out her secrets to looking like that in her 40s. If you're looking to get the Celeb Workout inspired workout equipment mentioned in this video, I'll link it in the description below. Before we start this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to my subscribers. This channel is a labor of love. If you have a favorite celebrity that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. Now, let's get back to the video. Kristen Ann Bell is an American actress born on July 18, 1980 in Huntingwoods, Michigan, USA. When she was little, she didn't like her first name, so her mom convinced her to go by her middle name Ann, and she used it until high school. She attended Shrine Catholic High School, where she took part in the drama and music club. Shortly after her high school graduation, she moved to New York City to attend the New York University Tisch School of the Arts, studying musical theater. She married Dax Shepard in 2013, and they now have two children. Uh -huh. But now she runs around and talks, and it's mostly nonsensical. She, yeah, I was gonna say, does she talk at one? She does a little bit. I mean, she says mama, dada, and tries to say boobies, which sometimes comes out, which is really cute. <laughs> Is that a necessary word for her to learn? For at this her, point? yeah, because she all, all day she looks at me and goes, uh, <laughs> "Milk." She wants milk. Although she seems like she has her life and career pretty good now, it wasn't always like that. In 2001, she left the university to play a role as Becky Thatcher in the short-lived Broadway musical *The Adventures of Tom Sawyer*. In the following years, she couldn't get part in any series or a movie she auditioned for. But then in 2004, she appeared in the action thriller movie Spartan, and from then on, her career started growing. The same year, she got the role of Veronica Mars in the drama series called Veronica Mars. With that performance, she earned herself the Saturn Award for Best Actress on Television. The show continued for three seasons, and later on, it returned for another. In the new series, she is experiencing what we all experience as an adult, which is, am I allowed to like the world? How do I reset? I've told everyone I'll play Veronica Mars till it's murder, she wrote. Okay, you're the next Angela Lansbury. I'd be happy to be. I love my husband, but this is truly the we most love you, committed. <laughs> we love you, Daxi. But the most committed long-term relationship I've ever been in. After the third season of Veronica Mars, she had an interest in appearing on Heroes, and it happened. Bell portrayed Elle Bishop, a mysterious young lady with an awesome power that appeared in 12 episodes during the run of the series. She's most recently known for her latest role in the NBC comedy series, The Good Place, which aired from 2016 to 2020. For her performance, she received a Golden Globe Award nomination for Best Actress, Television Series, Musical, or Comedy. She doesn't take part only in movies and series. She also lent her voice to the video games Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed II, and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Belle garnered further recognition for voicing Princess Anna in the Disney animated films Frozen and Frozen 2. The movie Frozen is very special to Belle because with her role in it, she can show people that not all princesses are perfect. Some of them are clumsy and quirky. I'll tell you, when we were making it, there was a part of me that was going like, this is really special. Like I've been a part of a lot of things, but this, it just felt so unique and I'm so proud of it because it's just, it's unlike anything they've ever done. And I love the fact that it's not about romantic love. It's about believing in someone, even when they don't believe in themselves. And I, I just get so proud when I think that I was a part of a project that's shown to kids that, you know, just tells them like, be who you are, be different, be quirky and let it go, you know? Most princesses that you see on screen, um, or at least the ones that I did when I was 11, they weren't nearly as clumsy as I was. They didn't talk too much. They didn't wear their heart on their sleeve as much as I did. And they just weren't as weird or quirky. And I really wanted to represent all the little weirdos out there. Did you know she also voiced the sloth Princilla in the animated comedy movie Zootopia in 2016? In fact, did you know she gets emotional when talking about sloths? There she is, her name was Melon. I mean, I needed to be sedated, clearly. Let's bring out it, the cutest sloth. No, you didn't. No, I just wanted oh to see. <laughs> Talking about voice, have you ever wondered who's behind the voice of the Gossip Girl in the series Gossip Girl? Well, if you guessed Kristen Bell, then you are 100% right. I can stay here and talk to you about her career and funny quirks all day long. 
but I think her workout mindset, workout routine, and diet regimen are just as interesting as her career. So let's find out more about them. Kristen Bell's Workout Mindset Kristen Bell's always had an enviable figure, but the star isn't spending hours every day in the gym to stay fit. She keeps her workout routine short and sweet to fit into her busy schedule, often spending as little as 30 minutes a day in the gym. It seems like you don't need to spend hours in the gym to look good, so we don't have any excuses anymore, right? She used to battle with anxiety and depression, so exercising has helped her battle with both and has increased her focus and strength. People who commit to working out regularly eventually come to realize that the mental health benefits of a regular exercise routine can be just as powerful and life-changing as the physical transformation that you experience. It's a sentiment that actress Christian Bell sums up perfectly in an Instagram post she published, in which she said, I don't work out to get a certain body shape. I work out for my mental health. Working out helps her stay fit, battle her anxiety and depression, but also keeps her mood balanced. A lot of benefits, right? When it comes to her workout, she has four rules she likes to follow, and they seem like things all of us can do, so let's find out. First, you always need to remember how you will feel afterwards. According to her, sometimes the best thing you can do when you have a bad workout is simply to remind yourself that it will feel amazing when you're done with it. Second, she likes to make small bargains with herself. In other words, if you give yourself realistic attainable goals, you can achieve them, and that sense of triumph will make your workout feel even better. Third, her third rule is that she socializes while working out. Kristen is a big fan of hitting the hiking trails with her friends, as it makes it feel more like a hang session. That's important, because hang sessions always seem to go a lot faster than the solo sweat variety. And last, but not least, she puts weight loss goals in perspective. She says that there are women who can't get an education, so compared to that, being one size bigger than you like doesn't matter. It's a great reminder to take a mental step back when you're being too hard on yourself or your body. It's hard to believe that Kristen is in her 40s. The actress still looks as fresh and as youthful as she did over a decade ago, but her kids think otherwise. In a hilarious Instagram video, Belle is barefaced and asks her daughters Delta and Lincoln how old they think she's turning. Their responses were 63 and 89. Not the answers I would have given. And as for what her husband Dax Shepard had to say, he guessed that his wife is turning 71. Jokes aside, Belle doesn't look a day older than 29, and it's because she leads an extremely healthy lifestyle. With that said, prepare yourselves, because it's time to find out what she does on her weekly workout routine. Kristen Bell's Workout Routine Kristen Bell is refreshingly honest and down to earth, so it's no surprise that her fitness routine is relatable too. She likes mixing up her workouts with a lot of yoga and power walks. Staying active is important to her, so as long as she does that, it doesn't matter if she'll do it playing with her kids or hitting the gym. Without further ado, let's find out her workout routine. Monday, 15 minute sprints and light plus circuit. Her workout consists of three rounds. Round one, burpees three sets of 21 reps. Wall sit, three sets of 21 seconds. Mountain climbers, three sets of 21 reps. Forearm plank, three sets of 21 seconds. Inchworm, three sets of 21 reps. Round two, burpees, three sets of 15 reps. Wall sit, three sets of 15 seconds. Mountain climbers, three sets of 15 reps. Forearm plank, three sets of 15 seconds. Inchworm, three sets of 15 reps. Round three, burpees, three sets of nine reps. Wall sit, three sets of nine seconds. Mountain climbers, three sets of nine reps. Forearm plank, three sets of nine seconds. Inchworm, three sets of nine reps. Tuesday, yoga. On Tuesday, Kristen Bell performs yoga. Wednesday, longer calisthenic circuit. This workout, like the one on Monday, also consists of three rounds. Round one, burpees, three sets of 21 reps. Wall sit, three sets of 21 seconds. Mountain climbers, three sets of 21 reps. Four arm plank, three sets of 21 seconds. Inchworm, three sets of 21 reps. Round two, burpees, 
three sets of 15 reps. Wall sit, three sets of 15 seconds. Mountain climbers, three sets of 15 reps. Forearm plank, three sets of 15 seconds. Inchworm, three sets of 15 reps. Round three, burpees, three sets of nine reps. Wall sit, three sets of nine seconds. Mountain climbers, three sets of nine reps. Forearm plank, three sets of nine seconds. Inchworm, three sets of nine reps. Thursday, jogging. Every Thursday, she does a 20 to 30 minute long jog. Friday, yoga. On Friday, Kristen does yoga. Saturday, track 10,000 plus steps. On Saturday, she does a power walk in 10,000 or more steps. Sunday, yoga. On the last day of the week, she performs yoga, which can also work as a rest day when her body recovers. Besides working out all week, she maintains a healthy vegetarian diet plan that is not only good for her physical health, but also for her skin. Let's find out what her diet regimen is. Kristen Bell's diet. Kristen Bell, being in her 40s, for sure is proud to have such smooth and clean skin and a very fit body. After being vegan for over five years, Bell switched to a vegetarian diet in late 2017 after feeling like the diet wasn't sustainable for her long term. Plant-based diets are shown to help you maintain a healthy weight and reduce your risk for many chronic health problems like heart disease and diabetes. Plus, they do wonders for your skin. She enjoys dairy and eggs as long as she knows they're humanely raised. Even though she doesn't eat meat, her meals throughout the day sound amazing. Without further ado, let's dive right into her diet plan. Breakfast, vegan matcha latte. Egg whites with spinach, tomatoes, and extra feta. Post-breakfast snack, salt bagel with cream cheese. Lunch, plant-based protein shake. Post-lunch snack, Greek yogurt. Dinner, bonza pasta with olive oil, cherry tomatoes with two options. Option A, egg for a carbonara like meatless dish. Option B, beyond meat crumbles for spaghetti and meatball-esque dinners. Kristen Bell has been super transparent about her struggles with mental health her workout routine, and how she stays healthy with her vegetarian diet. She can be used as an inspiration for us to take better care of our skin, body, and mind, and to be careful what we fuel our body with. As always, thank you for watching this episode. If you want to see how celebrities get in shape, let me know in the comment section below. And if you'd like me to make a video for her husband, Dak Shepard, let me know as well. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video and channel, since that'll help us make more content like this for you to enjoy. Thank you, and have a great one.